I just want to say a massive thank you for 3,000 subscribers. That is absolutely crazy. We started uh, Football Manager 2018 on, on about 1,600, 1,700, and obviously other series have, have helped the growth massively. But, uh, you know, you guys as well have kept me going every single day, pretty much, since uh, the release of this game and and doing these episodes and we've now hit 3,000 subscribers that is absolutely crazy so a massive thank you to all of you guys and to celebrate we've got our Champions League game against Gladbach can we get a victory in the first leg hey guys welcome back to Small Football Manager 2018 and part 10 of season 12 of the journeyman with Ajax and today we have that first leg against Gladbach and we also play second place AZ Alkmaar in the league so since the last episode we've actually played a couple of matches but uh, it hasn't gone so well shall we say we we went out against FC 20 and drew 1-1 against Wilhelm in the last episode we then lost 5-0 to Feyenoord a really humbling defeat and, uh, you know, it, it shows that things are, are on the decline. But we came back against VVV Venlo uh, and beat them 1-0 through an Amrabat scream. I mean, and that was still top of the league. We're still a few points clear. And if we win today against uh, AZ Alkmaar, then we, we could potentially go eight points clear again. Which is crazy. But, um, yeah, thank you for all of your comments last episode about the Villarreal job. And can I just say something? Um, you know, uh, we're in 2029. They're, they're not the Villarreal of 2017-18 uh, in real life. You know, uh, they've finished fourth and fifth pretty much every year. There was a good debate going down between Great Jamie and Robert Daniels, uh, talking about whether Villarreal were, the, were a big club. Jamie's argument were that Ajax were bigger than Villarreal, and to a certain extent, I agree with him, but... Uh, you know, in game, Villarreal are a full star more reputable than Ajax, which you know is is how the game gauges who big clubs are. Um, you know, yes, Ajax win leagues, they win Champions Leagues, but oh, they don't win Champions Leagues. They get into the Champions League. Villarreal are, are more of a a sort of top half, upper top half team. Um. And I quite like that, you know, I want a challenge. I don't want to walk into another team like I have done with Ajax and win a couple of leagues and then go. I want I want to have a bit of a challenge, like we did at Stoke. You know, we turned them around, we turned them into a, a European football competing side. Um, and I kind of want to do the same at Villarreal, and they have good finances. Whether all that's in the transfer budget, I really don't know, but... Um, you know, that if they have money, then I want to invest in facilities. And all that has sort of led me to accepting the job. We are going to be Villarreal manager um, from the 28th of May onwards, which means if we get the Champions League final, I think we'll actually miss it. So that's, that's a bit of a shame. Um, but I don't think we're going to reach it that far anyway. You know, Villarreal, yes, they're, they're probably not... Um, how to put this, the best team um, in, in Spain at the moment, but they have potential, and I think that's that's something we have to remember. If we look at the Eredivisie, they're ninth on the, the competition reputation. La Liga is third, so it is a big step up in terms of leagues. Obviously, we've been in the Premier League before. We don't want to go back there. Bundesliga would be good, um, or any of those top five, really. Maybe even Portugal as well, I would go for. But if we look at La Liga at the moment, Villarreal are underperforming. You know, they're down in 11th place, but they are only sort of six points off fifth-placed Valencia. So they're not too far off, even um, seven points off Sevilla in fourth place, Champions League football. They're not too far off, but um, they're, they're considered rich. They're considered to have a continental reputation. We don't know what any of these players are like. Um, there isn't a particularly good goal scorer in there, but that's going to be something that I look at in the summer. And when one thing I have noticed, you can still apply for jobs. We we tested it out and we've applied for Freiburg. So 
you know, if a better job comes up, we can still apply for these jobs and, you know, maybe even get them. I don't know if, if they'll have to buy a, our contract at Villarreal or, or whatever. I really don't know. We'll see what happens. But bottom line is, we've took the job and we are moving on at the end of the season. Let's have a look at the team for today. We're going to go back to the 4-2-3-1. Uh, you know, it hasn't worked particularly well in the league recently. Um, so this this is a big risk. It really is a big risk. But I, I, do, I don't think we can keep going uh, with the tactic that we've been using uh, that has led to this, this big loss of form. We have moved to this tactic for the last game we won 1-0 we were still unconvincing but we ended that five games without a win so Sanchez will start in goal we've then got Pierius, um, Kaltakar, Lake and Karik in defence we've then got Amrabat and Celebi in midfield with Billy Veld, Velazquez and Cassiera starting behind Paul Glatzel up top so let's get into it it's going to be tough it really is going to be tough but we can do it you know we we can do this um it is going to be difficult. We know it's going to be difficult. Um, but this was the best draw that we could have had. By far. And I'm confident that if we perform the way we know we can. Like we did against uh, Juventus. Like we did against Sporting Lisbon. Like we did against Paris Saint-Germain. No, uh, AS Monaco at home. We can do this. Come on. Vignato now to El Said and it's 1-0 Gladbach. Oh. And already in three minutes, that's pretty much decided our fate. You know, they've got the away goal now. Um, it was a pretty, pretty spicy goal as well. But have we got the, the sort of capacity to come back from that? I really don't know. Monaco are 1-0 up at, at Chelsea, which may be a bit of a surprise. Here's Marino. Ben Schneider now to El Said. El Said on the ball. Good tackle by Pierius. Now to Velazquez to Billy Veld. Billy Veld on the ball. Gets it wide now to Cassiera. Cassiera back to Sanchez to Coletta Carr. Now to Amrabat. Come on. Amrabat to Velazquez. Velazquez gets it forward to Paul Glatzel, who scores in the knockout rounds of the Champions League. Enzo Velazquez, he's just come back into the side because we start playing this 4 2 3 1. And what an assist this is from Velazquez. Just ball over the top. Paul Glatzel, what a touch, what a finish. It's 1 all. Yes, that is what we're talking about. If we can win today got every chance if it's 1-1 then you know we're pretty much going in on a defeat aren't we so that's not not what we want here's Gunny now to Lubitic Lubitic away now to Ver Verstraten now to Sonogo is that Yaya Sonogo surely not here's El Said oh Amrabat's got it come on Amrabat now to Billy Veld Billy Veld to Hassan now to Velazquez oh that was poor Gunny for to El Said. Oh, what a goal. Oh, what a goal that is. And he scored two screamers in this match now, El Said. Oh, I don't know what Velazquez was thinking there. That was really, really poor and just too easy to get through the defence. It really was there. That was that was poor. But two screamers from El Said at the end of the day. We're not expected to go any further. We're not expected to be here. It is all just a bit of fun. At this stage, but it would be nice to get through to quarter final. Here's Glatzel. Glatzel on the ball now to Amrabat. Amrabat forward to Billy Veld. Oh, if he could have made it 2 2 there, who knows what could have happened. Here's Billy Veld. Kalakar over the bar. That's that's not good. You know, two very good chances there to, to, to have equalised just be, before half time. The chance to give them the Hanard roll again to get them going for the second half. And we passed it up. And Cassiera, yet again, is just not performing. It's really such a shame because he was scoring so many goals um, before his injury. He's going to come off now. Hassan Celebi is going to come off as well. And we'll put on Paul Pogba. Um, and we'll play him as an advanced playmaker. We'll also bring on Torres as a winger on attack. Um just to try and get a bit more potency into our into our play. 
But, uh, you know, we've been beaten by two screamers at the moment. It's it's not a, a dire situation. We are probably the better team looking at the stats. But, um, yeah, we just haven't had the haven't had the potency and, and they've scored two screamers is Nicolas Nicolas into the middle Sanchez cuts it out come on now build from the back that's it here's Lake Lake to Caltecar Caltecar on the ball gets it forward but just not not particularly to anyone Curry comes out and collects here's Velazquez he gets it forward towards Paul Glatzel can he equalise that is such a big chance Oh, El Saeed into the middle, Lubatic, it's away off the line, that was close, 60 minutes gone, what do you do here, um, if we go on the bench that could make a difference, I'm looking at Mokhtar, Maybe moving Enzo to the Mozilla or Mazala, and we'll bring um, Mokhtar in as a shadow striker. Come on. Come on. Here's Nicolas. Oh, Pogba's got it now. Glatzel here. Glatzel on the ball. Gets it wide to Billy Veld. Billy Veld to Pogba to Velazquez to Mokhtar. Mokhtar forward to Glatzel. Great save. But another clear cut chance. And we really should be winning this match now. And it is frustrating because... Ooh, Mokhtar. That was another half chance. You feel like all we've got to do is, is make the breakthrough and, and the goals will flow. And we could put them out of, out of reach in this game. But, you know, another goal for them and it, it is all over. Here's Sonogo. Forward of a straight, and then it is 3 1. Ah! Oh. I really don't think we deserved this. I think we've been much better than them, and. <sighs> Maybe I should have took Trevor Lake off. He's had a, a really horrific game. <sighs> Karik. Gets it wide to Glatzel now. If we get a couple of goals, still all to play for. Velazquez, forward to Mokhtar. Forward to Paul Glatzel, who has scored this time. Oh, it's annoying how he can do that now that we're, we're pretty much out of the competition. But, uh, you know, it was a well-worked goal. It was a very well-worked goal. Glatzel to Velazquez. And then he got forward to Mokhtar, who got forward to Glatzel. And there you go, he finished it 3-2. Back in it now. Come on. Um, we're we're going to have to to go for something here because we we really do need to, um, you know, get back into this if we if we have a chance. We need to score goals if we have a chance in that second leg. Here's Fruitschul now to Lubitic. Come on. Oh, it was it was decent pressing, but. Uh, not quite quick enough. Here's El Saeed. Pierius has lost it. It's going to be 4 2. Creek gets it away now. Here's Billy Veld. It could be 3 all. Here's Glatzel. Come on. Glatzel to Torres. Torres now. Get it in there, son. He has done. Oh! Oh, it's a mistake. And Glatzel scores. The keeper fumbled. He did a Joe Hart. And Paul Glatzel has scored his hat trick. It's 3 all. Boy, we've been the better team today. And that was poor from the goalkeeper. But Glatzel was there first. He scored the goal. It's 3 all now. Yes. Come on. Can we get the winner? Come on. Come on, lads. Get the winner. Keep going. Push forward. No. That's forward of Van Dijk. Good tackle by Karik. He has been sensational today. Pogba gets it away to Torres now. We're pushing down the other side. Look at us swamping them. Oh, no. Oh, no. El Saeed. No. Good save. Push forward, lads. Come on. Come on. Four minutes to go here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
El Saeed tries another screamer, doesn't get it. It's going to be three all in this first leg. It's a draw at the end of the day. We know we can score against them. But more importantly, they know they can score against us. We've got to be really disappointed with the fact we haven't won that game. But, uh, you know, we, we've got out of the first one. Still in it. A 3-1. Three, a three I don't think we'd have said that. Um, and we might still say that we're out of the competition. But we'll give it a goddamn good go. Back in Gladback. Well, guys, we're going for something a little bit different in this match. Uh, we've put Torres on the right-hand side and we've put Seahouse on the left-hand side. We did experiment with a little bit of Kai Seahouse earlier in the season. Um, and we've uh, brought back Mertry into centre defence. I don't quite know why he wasn't playing against Gladback, but uh, he wasn't. And that's a, that's the way it works. <laughs> Um, I think we might play Herrera as well, actually. Should, should we give the new boy a go as well, Zabron? I mean, he's playing on 6.4 in at the moment, so so maybe not. We'll stick with Karik. He was sensational in the last match, so let's keep going. And AZ Alkamal, we're away from home. This could be a potential title decider, but um, you never know with these things. If, if they win, uh, it could really send our season spiraling downwards but if we win today then we go eight points clear um especially if if Vitesse don't win their match so yeah we'll we'll just have to see here's Velazquez now to Hassan Hassan oh that's just wide unlucky there very very unlucky ah <sighs> 10 pound, uh, 10 pound, 10 minutes in, not more happening, not more happening, <sighs> we obviously had that early chance, but apart from that, nothing's happening, and you know, I think we'd take a draw a day, it, it sort of keeps the gap, doesn't it, so, yeah, I don't know, here's Amrabat, forward towards Sayhouse, who scored, Kai Sayhouse has put us 1-0 up. I don't know how that trickled into the back of the net, but it has gone in. The assist from uh, Saffron Amrabat as well. Um, Torres starting it all off, and then Amrabat got it through to Sayhouse, and that is disappointing goalkeeping from their guy. And it's 1-0. Sayhouse with the goal. Maybe our solution to uh, Cassiera's replacement is, is there. Here's Lukacs. Oh, it's one all. <laughs> it's one all. Zimmerman, Prince Zimmerman, uh, no less, has just scored for them. And, well, I mean, what can you say about that? Um, Hartman with a with a fairly good ball. And uh, Lukacs. I wonder if that's Leonardo Ferrari. Uh, let's have a look. I, I think it is, you know. I think it is Leonardo Ferrari. Who would have known? that he would end up playing for AZ Alkamar. Obviously, we had him at Stoke. We sold him to Newcastle. Um, but obviously, he's, he's come to Holland uh, and to meet his mate Paul Glatzel. He has Torres, gets it forward, but only as far as Lukic. Oh, that's a good header by Torres. Pedersen now closing in. Torres gets it back. It's Glatzel. That should have been 2-1. Oh, that's annoying. That was a really good chance. PSV losing again. I tell you what, they're having a, a pretty shocking season by their standards. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think I, they might even be in the bottom half of the table, to be honest with you. I, I really don't think they're having a good one at all. Torres hasn't had the, the best game. I think it might be time to bring Billy Veld on. Maybe a bit harsh, not giving him a chance um, in this match. So let's go for that. Uh, PSV, 7th. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not doing well. They're really not doing well. But then again, they're only 12 points behind us. So, you know. Oh, Hassan injured. Let's bring on uh, Pogba. Play him as an advanced playmaker. There you go. Sanchez, now to Mejri. To Coletica, now to Amrabat. Amrabat on the ball now to Billy Veld. Billy Veld to Velazquez. Ooh, that, that wasn't good. Here's Lonwick. Creek. Now to Mejri. 
Sanchez now. He has Coletica. Coletica on the ball there. Amrabat. Pogba. Billy Veld. Come on. Billy Veld on the ball. Now to Pogba. Amrabat. Billy Veld. Come on. Amrabat. Get it forward, son. Here's Billy Veld. Billy Veld to Velazquez. It's 2-1. Enzo Velazquez with the goal. Billy Veld with the assist. It's 2-1. And we now move on to 53 points as it stands. Which would be seven points clear of second place for Tess. I think we're gathering that they've already played. Because uh, PSV is the only other match going on. So if we win this game, we'll be seven points clear. And that is big at this stage of the season. Here's Kaletika. Gets it forward. That's away again. Oh, please don't score another goal. Oof, just over the bar. I think, I really do think that um, the goalkeeper situation is... A, bri a, a bit precarious for us, to say the least. Uh, let's bring Eiting on in central defence. You know, he did a, a very good job as our defensive midfielder. Let's bring him in in central defence. We'll see what he can do alongside Mesri. Here's Velazquez. Gets it forward to Sayhouse. Oh, I thought that was going to be uh, the the winner there. Here's Pogba. Pogba into the middle. Oof. And by winner, I mean the seal. Um in the victory Pogba now to Amrabat come on Pogba Velazquez gets it wide but only to Lukic Zimmerman Ferrari good block by Pogba Menega Menega to Lukic into the middle Herrera away oh it's a penalty how Come on, Sanchez. Prove us wrong about the goalkeeper situation. Zimmerman to Sanchez, and he doesn't even move. Oh. <sighs> Two all. Disappointing. And we've used all three of our substitutes as well, so there's not much we can do about this. Here's Jones, Pedersen. It's away. Zimmerman. Oh, that's forward to Puko. Oh. And now all of a sudden we're losing. That's just really poor. Really, really poor. Um, well, I don't, I don't know what to do here. You know, we we looked all right at the at the start of the match, but we just through a series of not taking chances and giving away a penalty and I don't know, just being poor defensively, we've lost this match, and I really don't know how to solve it. We're in such terrible form, you know. I think we've only won one of the last eight or something like that in, in all competitions. And that's that's a real problem. We're, we're in a, a very poor stretch of form and we're going to have to do something if we want to turn it around. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you do leave a like down below. It really means a lot for me and it really does help out the channel as well. Thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys for the second leg of the Gladback game in the next episode. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.